for um, Sinyara. No, no, no. Have you gotten I've any got Halloween ones? For... I've gotten I've the got old ones, ones, no new ones. The only new one I gotten was to the 80s Saria. <laughs> and it's like, yes, it's the most girly skin for Saria ever, but at the same time, it feels like when I got the Siberian, um, the Siberian skin for her, where she's like a cyborg, like, it's nice to have it, to have that skin, but I don't play her that much, so I can, like, the cyberpunk skin, I can deal with that, as long as I don't have to look at her Olympic skins, or like, her other skins that is basically the same damn thing. I can't remember if you did it as Hanzo. Mm -hmm. I know you did it as McCree, though. <laughs> and Genji Kun, but yeah. I can be so much <clears throat> Was that just three tires I just took out? Oh, myself! <laughs> wow, that was horrible. I'm sorry, Celine Dion.
thank you for having my back doing that. Himself. Love that Dr. Jameson Junkenstein. Super Heroi. Hey Charles, what's up? Oh, Beyond Gotham. Have you gotten the DLC? Have you gotten the DLC packs for it? Oh my God, you can also get an. Uh, Kill of Frost, where is Cape and Snow, and you can also get, um, what the fuck is the rest? The CW verse arrow. Um, by the way, Jason is also here, you know? <laughs> I guess. How's it going? I'm just sitting here, you know, playing some. Mercury. Oh. But how's life? Give me new, uh, give me new pop figures. Or any new action figures you like? Yeah. You are. Like. I have a big boner for Mystique of the Marvel Universe, but yeah, Charles have an even bigger boner for uh, Supergirl. Like, <laughs> for me, it's like. The anti heroes is like, I always had a big boner for Mystique. Because I thought she was so awesome. Like, she, she just did whatever floats her boat. Like, she doesn't fucking care. But at the same time, like, she took really good care of Rogue. Like, took her in, like, her own little si uh, her own daughter. Wasn't that her daughter? Wasn't that her daughter in the first place? According no. to the, uh, the TV show. That that's uh, Kurt Langer. Um, Nightcrawler was her original son, but she was chased out of Germany due to uh, it was the devil's child that she had given birth to because she had an affair with. Ashriel, um, who looks like uh, the devil himself, and yeah, she was chased, and she was like, even though she loved Kurt, like a mother would do, um, she felt like she was, she didn't feel like she could give him a normal upbringing as the lady she was because she was fucking chased uh, throughout um, so yeah another family found him kinda like the Tarzan story except this is with mutants <laughs> like he was adopted by another like a family who accepted him 
for like his blooper and stuff like that. And he grew somewhat religious, like as we see in X Men Two, uh, where he's like praying to God and stuff like that. Like he's not an extra extremist like he's not doing it like way too much it's more like it's his way of believing there should be tomorrow for him as who he is like this weird fella um, and yes like Abandon him like it was Moses, um, like just dropping him down a f uh, They've reached the, door. the river. Like, not the best choice, but at the same time, I tip my hat because she actually acknowledged like she couldn't give him the life she wanted him to have, like that ordinary life where it's okay to be weird. Like, it's okay to look different, like, it's okay, like, she didn't feel like, with her background, that she could provide that, um, where when Rogue, or Anne-Marie, came into the picture, um, she was like, yeah, she was, like, her stepmother, or like her foster mom trying to make her feel normal about her mutant abilities even though she was different and that's where I feel like yeah Mystique she grew as she became older like she never had a chance with Kurt and yeah, he never turned evil, but at the same time, when Anne Marie came knocking at her door, she took care of her. And there are those who are considered siblings um, Anne Marie, um, or Rogue, and Nightcrawler, due to their share the same mom. In like in some way, like it's cursed by all the cold mom, but it's her foster mom. I've got you in my sights. Destroy them before they get any closer. And yeah, even though like <laughs> she made it's sort of like Rogue Tur was part of the Brotherhood of Evil, like she had tried with her first boyfriend um, down in the south where she almost killed him by kissing him so yeah it was kind of hard stuff for her so she knows she didn't fit in um, but yeah Ro um, Mystique tried to make Rogue feel like she was actually part of society she still matters she's part of it even though she's different and from the left, uh, I always tip my hat like, sure, it didn't work with her. Uh, like, her, she sort of like abandoned um, him, but she was trying to give him a brighter future. But later on in life, she actually grew up to be like that mother figure and take care of another child. Um, being rogue. I'm sorry, <laughs> went into why I like Mystique. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's why, because she... She grew, she grew, like, she wasn't just like... Yeah, I'm still gonna, like... Abandon my child, like my step, my foster child. Like she grew 
and like even though when Magneto turned good or like at least took over the X-Men like even though she was like still fostering the at last, the Reaper's Brotherhood of Evil, she, like, she understood where Magneto came from because she had been wrong too, and she's a freak of nature as well, um, but at the same time, like, even though they don't tell it in the comics, I think, like, the only one as cunning as Charles and Mystique, or, yeah, the only one who's con as cunning as um, Charles and Magneto is Mystique herself. Of course we have Emma Frost, but she's on the goody side, or as far as we know, on the goody side. So, yeah. I th even though would be considered like she's still bad to the bone, I feel like she was just in some way doing her own kind of help, like helping um, the new generation of X-Men to like not get those two-dimensional bad guys, but more like thinking like the edge, like there's no good, there's no bad, there's the in. Uh, yeah, there's good, there's bad, but what about the in-between? Does those exist? Yeah, like the anti-heroes, because she had always been an anti-hero. Or mostly have been considered an anti-hero. And the same goes for Magneto, because yeah, they had a shitty past. And yeah. Due to that, they're reacting now, in the present, or when they were conceived. Um, and they had their origin story. Like, there's just they're just reacting. And yeah, as we all know, um, good old. Charles Xavier and good old Magneto is Martin Luther versus um, Malcolm X. Like, that is where those two characters were inspired by. Where, yeah. Mystique was next. Um, what? That's why, like, I like the Flash and Green Lantern, um, a lot, and also Spidey, because yeah, they're not like, they're not like Batman, they're not like Superman, like, because I said so, therefore it is. Um, they're more like, even though I have superpowers, I'm still only human. I make mistakes. I learn from my mistakes and grow from them. Like, I also like Jessica Cruz. Um, like, the newest iteration alongside Simon Bass. Um, in the Green Lantern Corps. Because she. I love Simon Bass. I love Jessica Cruz. Because, yeah. Also, like, I like her dynamic with Barry. Like, I, like, one of my best friends, like, if I was, like, standing in my window, had it wide open, and just spread my arms and just let myself fall, like, I knew somehow. Some way he would grab me, or get like the nine one one, like the or the fireman just to catch me in a trampoline, because he would knew he would know that I would just take a leap of faith. 
because I we know each other like the back of our own hands. And it's like, I feel like Jessica is doing the same thing with Barry, like, she just where Hal was like the confident booster for Barry. Like, hello dude. Uh, I might be a lady killer, but yeah, I still need my bro. And Barry is like, yeah. I experienced all this shit, but yeah. My bestie is the lady killer. <laughs> um, um, like, they had a cool dynamic, like, yeah, even though um, Hal is like the all American boy <laughs> in some ways, um, where Barry is like more like the sensible dude who's like, yeah, let's talk about feelings and all that stuff. Do you still have, like, a mutual respect towards each other? And, like, they both got each other's back. And I feel like with Jessica, she is, like, if Barry was a Green Lantern. Because, yeah, it's full of self-doubt. It's full of, like... What if it just chose me by chance, like, I'm not good enough to thorn this cow, a uh, cow, uh, just like Spidey also sometimes are like, yeah, I just got bitten by a spider, like. <sighs> you know, you're not allowed to talk, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm uh, uploading a video as well. Oh, it was just like, it was just like, no talking at all, and I was like, yeah, you know, like, you're allowed if you agree or disagree to just, like, say, okay, I don't feel that way, and, like, then I would say, like, take the stage, like, make your point. Why? Or why not? I know, I know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I also, like, it's, you know, it's Barry and Hell is, like, the cool dude and the nerdy dude being besties, where it's, like, it's, um, when it's Barry and Jessica, I feel like I like that dynamic because it's, like, yeah, I've been in your place, now I'm gonna help you to become, um, that hero that you want to be, like, or I believe you can become alongside your partner. Um, Charles, you're also, <laughs> you're also allowed to say stuff. Like, that's just how I feel about it. Like, mm -hmm. Barry feels for me like a mentor, or like, well, I could also see him and Jessica J uh, date, um, because it's like they're going through the same kind of struggles, of course. Being the same doesn't always mean perfect match, but I feel like instead of him, him and Iris, I feel like those two could like, like uh, him and Jessica could like strengthen each other as a pair like it's not like somebody is on top the other one is the underdog like they have that kind of mutual respect that the flash have with um or barry allen have with um caitlin snow in the cw verse like they both know that when shit hits the fan, they always gonna blame themselves and close themselves off from the world because they know, um, and I know that feeling for myself, like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fucking happy guy, but yeah, um, like, um, 
sometimes when I get sad, like really, really, really down, depressive, like I just want to hang myself in a noose or something like that. Like, I know my friends that know that that side also exists within me, but I have also told them, like, that side is as strong as my happy side. Like, as happy as I can be, as sad can I be, like, and that is where being charismatic in some way or another, or appealing or attractive, is like your worst enemy, because, yeah, yeah if you're super happy, and it can affect people, it have the same effect if you can be just as sad and depressing. True. So I'm like, some of my friends like they, they know exactly when, or if my seasonal depression <laughs> hits me, and it's just like, yeah, we know, we know, Foxy is, and it's not, and then they're like. We don't want to belittle you, but we know it's super snuggle time. In some way where it's like, um, super touchy feely. Where it's like, yeah, if I feel like I let down somebody, it's gonna affect me in a okay, bigger great. way than if my seasonal depression hadn't hit. <clears throat> Anyways, somebody else take the stage. <laughs> because I'm dead and tired of hearing my own voice. <laughs> oh it's just like the blah 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 blah. Foxy talks blah 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. You know. Right now, yeah, I just I... uploaded a video and I'm making a thumbnail. That's all I'm doing at the moment. Everybody, check out that video right now. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Yeah. So, how superior? I mean, excellent. Um, I haven't uploaded anything in a long time. I'm sorry. I, I think the last thing I... Wait, have I even... No, I'm gonna check. I've been busy I was like, have I uploaded Jonathan. the last part of Crash Bandicoot? Well, I've been trying to get ready for the move and everything. I've been moving in like a month or two? Mm. Now I'm actually gonna check Maximum Nerd on uh, YouTube. I've just been trying to like just sit, actually play games just for fun instead of trying to upload them. Hmm. Well, I sort of tried to do out. that. I tr sort of tried to do that with Plant vs. Zombies, uh, Garden Warfare 2, but it was like. Yeah, but at the same time, I actually want to do this, um, like, upload it, um, like, as streams, it haven't been cut down to episodes. But it's like... That's what I'm doing with the, the Division right now. I'm like, I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna stream it. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
like Gold Relic. And it didn't go my way that time. And then when I was on work, like it was, it just, even though it was, I think it was a Friday, it fucking felt like, um, Wow, I haven't even uploaded um, Crash Bandicoot 3 yet. It looks like. Um, nope. Yep, I know that sound. It's three weeks ago since I last uploaded uh, anything. Damn. What about what on your own channel? channel? Then I'm sh streaming online right now. <laughs> um, that doesn't. That doesn't. Well, the latest vid I have there is from earlier today. Um, but yeah, is it was like I remember I was like it. It was. Even though it was a Friday, like, it felt like a fucking... No, it was sa Saturday. No, it was... No, it was Saturday. And it felt like, like, a shitty one. Because it was like... Yeah, I didn't get the... Didn't get the red egg on that level. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Um... But then when I went on to work, like, I had somebody who was, like, verbally assaulting me in every way possible. Like, race, religion, sexuality, and fucking, like... Like, the... what the fuck? Yeah, and I was like, dude, dude, don't even start with me. And he was like, oh, you threaten me? Oh, I'm going to tell your boss. And I was like, sweetheart, have you like, noticed like, that yeah, beautiful like, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, sweetheart, have you noticed that there's a cam? And he was trying to tell my supervisor that I started the whole damn thing. And my supervisor was like, yeah, I know, Foxy. And he would never start that. So, you, um, and also, I watched the cam because, sweet cheeks, I was on a break, sitting in the room, watching the cams, so I know exactly what happened. <laughs> and the dude was like, yeah, I have been living here my whole life. I was like, I never even talked about a race, I never talked about you like being who you are you attacked me i just ask you because you were bitching about the price was damn too high so i took your project uh, your product back like a return order and i just the, needed the you to sign what the price was too high for what a fucking bottle of cola because he didn't re really? read the price tag. What a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. And okay. yeah, and I was like, yeah, dude, go ahead, make your complaint. I have video footage of how you treat me. B. I'm actually allowed to say those things I'm saying A or actually A.1 because the store is already closed so you should have already gotten the fuck out uh, B I'm not hurting your race, your religion, your sexuality or the person you're being if you feel like you're touchy-feely about that, maybe you should go see a psych. 
Um, um, and I don't bite unless you fucking attack me first. It's called defense mechanisms if you ever had psychology. Um, and then I was like, but yeah, fill out a complaint. And he was like, what's your name? And I was like, either you are on drugs or you have been drinking because I have a beautiful little sign right here on my chest. I know you're not looking there, but yeah, I have a sign here saying what I am, like my position in this fir uh, firm and what my fucking name is. And I was like, and I'm sorry if the way I'm talking right now is offending you. Because I'm off duty. I don't get paid right now because I already clocked out. Because I thought we could do this as mature people. But obviously not. Um... And I said to him, like, if we both gonna, like, have a good night tonight, just sign that I actually took your product back, like, the Coke bottle. Because I actually did. I have it on cam, and if you don't collaborate, and you're just gonna take the other bottle of Coke out, you have actually been stealing, which means you broke the law. Are you really gonna grease your own? Um, are you really gonna mess up your own life by just doing that just because you wouldn't sign because you got it in cash instead on on your card? Because he was like, I, do, I, I don't want it in cash. I want it back on my card. And I was like... I don't know how to do that. I'm sorry, sir. And my colleague was like, yeah. He actually don't know how to do that. And this dude was like, you're lying, you're lying. You're holding, you're like holding a hand above him while he's lying. And I was like, no, I'm actually honest. I don't know how to do that. And then he was like, yeah, then you're not, then you don't know how to do your job. And when he got, <laughs> when he got his money back on the card, we were like, yeah, then you don't need the cash. And then we put it down in the cash register and said like, yeah, <laughs> that's it. And then I was like, sir. Just gonna tell you something. You are the whiniest baby I have ever experienced in my whole life. And I have been a babysitter. Like, I have actually rocked some babies. <laughs> and I have also taken care of small smaller children, I have even dogs it. And you're an adult man, or you want me to take you as that, but you cannot accept the fact that I don't know how to give it back on your card. So when I give it back in cash, you still got your money back, but in physical money, you're playing baby. Some people, some people are just damn whining. Yeah, and it's like, it's like, I have been sometimes where it's like, would somebody just shut the fuck up? Because you don't know jack shit about suffering. Oh, yeah. we're doing a match. Doing a match. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. It's just a normal. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, yo, oh, it was endless. I thought it was just the average one.
Uh, I was just making a nice little thumbnail for my video. You know what? We can wait. Or no, I can I'm wait. fine. I've already finished it. Uh, okay. <laughs> but it's like, yeah. Jason, you do you sometimes have rude customers? Oh yeah. I just call my manager over and walk away. Like, uh, you're not important enough for me to deal with. I don't get paid to deal with you. Uh, I, I, like, I also have some customers where they were like, yeah, I, I, I know what you're going through, like, I have been there, and it's like, no, you have never had a seasonal depression as far as I know, you have never been a bisexual, you have never been a guy, you have never been a redhead, no, you have never, ever been claustrophobic, like, if you can check all those, yes, we're in the fucking same boat. And if you ever have been stressed beyond your own life, because it's like you have to take care of somebody who needs um, nine, uh, you to call 911 while dealing with your own claustrophobic experience, while also being stressed the shit out. Like, because then you have somebody at the cast register be bitching about, like, may go a little bit more snappy, um, even though you're handling some more situations than just one. Like, yeah, then we can talk. But also, like, I had some customers where they like, yeah, I know, I have been in your situation and they're treating you like shit, and I'm just like, yeah, if you've been in my situation, where is all the respect? Like, I don't want you to praise me, but at the same time, I want you to respect me like it was you for the very first time in the cast register. Like... That's the people who trigger me the most, where they're like, yeah, I've been there. And it's like, mm -hmm. no, no, no you haven't, sweetheart. Otherwise, you wouldn't treat me like shit. You would actually have learned. Like, even when I have day offs, and I go down to the store I work at um, and buy some stuff. I'm still like treating my co workers with that respect. And when I enter another store, I try to treat them with the same respect. Like, I know they're only human and mistakes happen. Um. Because I know how to be like <laughs> that dude where the whole shit bucket have to fall upon, like just because that was the tip of the ice, that was the last straw before I lost my shit or something. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> So Jason, how is your sexy thumbnail? Uh, good, except for I have to, I have to resize it because apparently it's too big. The JPEG, is, the size of the, um, of the picture is too big. Not the size, but, you know, the other size. The size of the file is too big. I have to make that small. So, Charlie, how is your life going? Like... So, what have you been up to this week? Uh, 
Oh, Justice. You're playing Injustice 2? Oh, so who you're playing as is, have you completed the whole story? Nice. <laughs> when you have to save uh, Adam West. Is there any special um, uh, achievements for those who buy the DLC? Like, if you complete uh, the CW Arrow one, you get a trophy or something like that? Experience tranquility. Is it the one with the bad Mr. Freeze voice actor? Where they're trying to. Is the one. Because he likes Oreos. It's kind of funny when, like, they call it Chocos because they're not allowed to call it Oreos at the time he was conceived. Because they, like, had, didn't have a deal with Oreo, like, they're... Because copyright infringement and all that stuff, so they couldn't call it Oreos, so they just call it Choc Chocos. But, yeah, we know yeah. it's Oreos. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did. Oh. Yeah. He is a sweet character. Junkenstein's monster has fallen. You have my warrior own worst enemy. In the midst of the battle, Junkenstein's most powerful ally appeared. My servants never die. Uh, does all of us still have killing for two? Like, Charlie, Charlie, do you have killing for two? On your PS4? Uh, killing for two? Damn! Do you have Fortnite? Should we play this afterwards, Jason? Yeah, if you want to. I'm fresh. <laughs> and off the hook. My Dr. Junkenstein has lashed into the form of the <laughs> I 
<laughs> like the Reaper was destroyed and then another one turned up. There we go. He's dead too. So, oh, oh, now there's a double summoner in a jiffy. There she comes. Both of them are down, like the shield and raiders. So have you unlocked Wally West and Reverse Flash? In the shadow of doubt. And um, Duck Lantern. Like Daffy Dog, is that? Yeah, I'm talking to you, Charlie. Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> I was also like, and they brought back, like, the actual voice for Daffy Dog. Like... He's one of my favorite Looney Tunes. If not my very favorite. My uncle's was always... Mm -hmm. I love him over Bugs Bunny. Like... Some people are like Bugs Bunny are like their favorite, and I'm like, why? That Daffy Dog is like the best. He's like the underdog. He's like Donald Dog, but like more sarcastic. And like, <laughs> whenever he meets like um, Bugs Bunny, is like if. Donald Dog had an encounter with Mickey Mouse, like, they're always gonna be the underdog, and I feel so bad for them. Even the whole, like, dog season, rabbit season, do uh, dog season, rabbit season, rabbit season, do uh, dog season. We have survived. Also, like, sh sure, um, Bugs Bunny have been able to break the fourth wall, but yeah, it's more like Daffy Dog does it. Like, it's his quirk. <laughs> I like when he said you uh, he needed healing, you were like putting down a healing thing. Kill her! Oh. 
How about the second one? Okay. Good boy. <laughs> it's like, how about the second one? How about the third one? How about... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> My ultimate is almost ready. Fuck you, Symmetra. How dare you kill my man? Don't say it was Piggy because I know it was Symmetra. That's why I'm blaming her. Shut up. My whole shitty answer. Doesn't Wonder Woman also have hers? Or is it only in um No, that's only in Lego Dimensions, where it's like Wonder Woman Yeah. That's the one I'm thinking about. Like, what a woman! Look at us, Jason. We're looking awesome. No, that's wrong. <laughs> that is so wrong. He only got my heels. <laughs> he got my love. Being like a little bitch. I vote for you, Jason. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Okay, so it's alright. Okay, if you go into Hero Gallery, um, like pick any oh, hero. Oh, any if you go into any hero, if we have gotten it right, you should have the spray called um. It's called my creations. Yeah. You got it? No, nah, hold on. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take away Charlie, then I'll be back. Sure, take your time.
I'm back. After a hundred years in purgatory. <laughs> Yeah, but I think I have to do something more for it. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Take your time, man. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Jason. Yeah. 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 So you're back. <laughs> have you opened me your loot boxes? Yeah, I didn't really get anything good. Have you checked your sprays? Uh, yeah, I don't have any ones. I don't care. You don't have the one called My Creations? Uh, no. You really care about that spray a lot, don't you? I already got it, but it's like... Okay, I know you did it as McCree. Okay, hey, Charles. Um, it's like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have it now. You have it now? Yay! Yeah. So, I'm doing another quest, which is a giant thing to have. Isn't planet Xamarin? Is that the... Um, that is the stuff, Sapphire planet? Or is it the Indigo Tri planet? It's the Star... The Star Sapphire one. Yay! I know my bitches. Like, then he would, the, if he ever did it, he would do it in his own twisted image. I think that's why the Indigo Tribe never tried for... Mr. J! Okay, the He could well Scarecrow became um yeah. Scarecrow became a yellow a lantern doing um or honorary um because he was the master of fear. Um Joker like Yeah, Joker would be yellow or red. They were talking about it with Mace Windu and Samuel L. Jackson, like, oh, he must be, he, like, the good, the goody two-shoes of the Jedi's, they have blue laser sabers, and the bad oh ones, God. like, the safe have red. And it's like... Yeah, that's why they that's why they said he was in the gray zone. And that's why he had the uh, purple one, but they didn't acknowledge that. But but what they didn't know was Samuel L. Jackson's favorite color is purple. <laughs> Yeah. 
because it also was his favorite color and like it was like when people were trying to do that anti-hero thing with him it was like but he had purple because he demanded it like you wouldn't have Sam ja Jackson in that movie without the purple la lightsaber like what the fuck people And then they were like, yeah, it was because he was a black character, and I was like, fucking the voice of Maggie from The Simpsons, James Earl Jones was fucking black, and he was the voice of Darth Vader. I don't know if you want to do that and say like, uh, because he was black. Treehouse of Horror. So, Jason. Oh. Fortnite. Uh, nope. I haven't started it yet. I'm still waiting. Then you had the Blue Lanterns who are kind of wimpy, but yeah, as long as they have a Green Lantern there. Yeah, that's why they look kind of wimpy. Like, they're like this... Yeah, but yeah, I was like, when... Barry Allen, like in the New 52, he was one of those who could bear um, Hal Jordan's ring, like he could wear it because he had so much hope inside of him, or not hope, willpower to manage to save Hal. Um, in the Blackest Night, he was an honorary Blue Lantern because, yeah. If you <laughs> mm. well, him and Green Lantern had a series together where they found out that. Yeah, they actually twice. If you count the Green Lantern War.